Yeah, please continue. Perfect. So, welcome to the uh, mental health. Um, just here we go, fixing my screens here. So mental health overseas and cultural well-being. This is a first of a series of webinars that we're doing. We called it a webinar, but really actually we realize it's more of an interactive workshop, this one. We're gonna see how, um, how this goes and whether we do further webinars and we're really looking forward to everybody's feedback. I just wanted to give a little bit of information about Cayman Connection because some of you may not know exactly what, what we're doing and, and who we are. So very briefly, Cayman Connection is a network for Caymanians all over the world. We have a focus on assisting students overseas, but we also have a um, high membership of uh, professionals, retirees, anyone who's basically has an affinity to the Cayman Islands that now lives overseas. Our membership in Cayman is really important as well because the whole point of what we do is to connect Caymanians overseas with back home um, and help each other through networking, um, through partnerships, um, and basically to, to bring all the people that came in islands together across the world. So um, why do we host these events? Really to get people engaged, to talk about things that you might want to talk about, to show support um, to our membership. Um, our long-term goals include supporting the well-being of people of the Cayman Islands, um, building a strong network of people, um, and promoting knowledge and skill building. And some of these webinars really are about that, their skill building and their sharing, um, sharing ideas. Um, it, it is very much a sharing, it's not a telling. So we are looking forward to hearing your experiences as well. So a little bit about today, uh, we have with us the Alex Panton Foundation because we are partnering in this particular topic with the Alex Panton Foundation. Um, they are a not-for-profit with the primary objective of raising awareness of mental illness affecting children and young adults. I think we can all agree that that is a really important topic, uh, particularly now, but even outside of a crisis, this is a really important topic. Uh, and what we've done here is combine that with the culture shock element uh, and the, the element of, of managing your, your mental health overseas. What does that look like? What does that mean? So I just wanted to um, say that Sarah Pearson is here in attendance. She will be mentioning in, her ch in the chat the email. If you wanted to chat to her directly, please do. She's here um, and she's, she's, she's available for you should you wish to speak to her. So we also have Dr. Shari Smith, um, as you know, clinical psychologist um, in the Cayman Islands. And some of you will know Shari for her um, involvement with the Scholarship Secretariat, um, who helps with the um, uh, Ministry of Education. So um, Shari will be talking today uh, about uh, mental health and um, how, what tools and, and, and tricks you can have for, for, for mental health. So Marina Ibrim is here with us, a cross-cultural agility expert. So I met Marina at a conference some time ago, actually, and she was talking about uh, culture shock. Um, Cayman Connection has held culture shock workshops every year in uh, August for students coming across to the UK. Um, We've done them in various different ways, and I, I really liked what Marina had to say. Um, she's got some, some fantastic expertise in working with many companies and industries with um, managing uh, cross-cultural um, agility over the world, and really looking forward to, to hearing what, what you have to say there. Um, I couldn't mention any introduction without mentioning the Cayman Islands Government Office in the UK because they are a huge support to Cayman Connection and Caymanians overseas. And I wanted to remind our participants that Andre Ebanks is the Cayman Islands representative to the UK and Europe and um, is the whole team of whom we have a couple on the call here, I believe. So Melanie, Philippa, Charles, there's a whole team of people within the Cayman Islands Government Office that are here to help Caymanians overseas. So that's a little reminder to reach out should you need. Just a little bit of uh, a little bit of housekeeping here, and some 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 general bits and pieces. And that is, we've mentioned the video. It really is a safe space um, that we're working with. So please feel free to share. We, we're looking forward to to hearing your experiences as well, because we can we can learn from that too. If you did want to chat um, or ask a question, please do pop it in the chat box. We'll do our best to mediate that and um, and ask where where we can. We'll have a very small. Um, section after each of the uh, each of the talks just to, for, for quick burning questions but we'll have the main discussions and questions and answers afterwards so we'll have two brief um, brief talks um, 
about 30 minutes long, then we will have discussion and answers, but please feel free to come forward in between if you want. Um, I'm particularly interested to hear feedback of, of are these topics of interest, um, what people are learning, um, and also so that we can feed into our future follow-up webinars. Talking of which, our next webinar is on 24th of February, and we are moving on from the uh, mental health aspect and talking about the physical health aspect and how the body-mind connection is really important. So this month, we're talking about mental health and cultural well-being. Next month, we're talking about physical fitness and how that's important. Just to say that we are still holding our virtual yard meeting at 5 p.m. after this call, so that'll be for anyone who either couldn't make it. We'll be continuing discussion and topics, so you're very welcome to join, and I can share the details um, for those of you who wish um, for those. So I just want to say thank you for joining. Um, I have lots more to say, but I need to definitely pass over. Um, we do have a little poll. So I would like to um, just take the opportunity to have a little poll. It gives us all an idea of who's here and, and, um, and what your thoughts are. So if I can ask um, Marina to pop the poll up, then... Um, there are, you should see a, a poll and if you can just pop where you are and um, we can get a good idea and hopefully it's a bit of a mix. That's what we're, uh, we're hoping for. Okay, so yes, a lot of people in Cayman, which is fantastic, really, really good. And I, I suspect that's a mixture of our Cayman Connection members, um, perhaps students who would usually be in the UK but aren't now because of COVID. Um, and we've... Uh, and oh, we've got a nice little uh, message from Charles Parchment there, I think, who's <laughs> annotating the screen. Thanks, oh, Charles. that's nice. <laughs> really nice. Not sure you meant to do that, but I like it. <laughs> I did say it was going to be interactive, and interactive it is. <laughs> well, exactly. I'm so technologically advanced. Um, hi, hi, guys. It's Charles here from the, from the London office, just uh, touching bases and this thing. You know, I just joined in a couple of minutes, so apologies for that. I, kid, I was assuming that you had to click on the pen and write where it says thank you, but I guess I guess not. Mm. So, so there should be you should be able to see a poll, and then there's a little um, a little button that I think that you press in each case. You might be seeing something slightly different. So I think I don't need I don't think you need a pen for it, but no, you shouldn't actually. Uh, there's a little window where you can uh, submit your um, location. Are you uh, from the UK? Are you based in Cayman? US, Canada, or any other country. So the poll is still open, uh, but I haven't seen um, many people participating yeah. just yet. So we've got, oh, I think we've got 100% voted there. Oh, have okay. we? Yeah, just got it. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Okay, so I'll end the poll then, uh, Kate. Yeah. Oh, it's me that ends the poll. I'll end, I'll, oh, okay, I'll, I'll share the result then. Can you see it? Okay, great. So we have, we have 58% in Cayman and 42% in the UK, which is perfect. A nice balance. I like that. That's excellent. Brilliant. Excellent. So okay. we have a few questions now. Is it, how do we? I'll, 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 I'll run it. You can run it. Yeah. So the next poll will be, let me just do this. Why are you here? And we have uh, got some answers prepared for you. Can you all see the poll? We can so we have it. Yeah. This is to give us an idea of what you're hoping to, to, why you're here, whether you have a general interest in cultural studies and culture shock, general interest in mental health, um, if you have family overseas or you're overseas and looking for support or help. Um, again, this gives us an idea. Um, an idea of, of what we can do for you, basically. So we've got 66% voted, 75, 83. We are moving in. So a general interest in mental health is, is a winner so far, but I think all of the other elements are obviously important because we do have votes on them, which is excellent. So have we voted all? Um... So we're, we're, now, we're to 91% now, so there might be a couple that haven't voted, but for the sake of time. Yeah, you, you call uh, Kate to close Okay, the so. <laughs> There we go, we've got mostly a general in interest in mental health. <clears throat> I oh. think we have one more question. What happened? Oh. Oh, oh. why isn't that? Uh, I can't see the poll. Oh, yeah, there we are. It's coming up now. Yeah. So, general interest in mental health and uh, 
also a general interest in uh, cultural studies and culture shock. Very good. I think you're in the right place. <laughs> <clears throat> and the next question is your professional background. So we have, um, we have a lot of different people on our membership. Um, we have professionals, students, teachers, parents, um, and many others, but this gives us an idea of who's here and, um, and, and helps us gauge how we, how we present. Great. So for, for others, we can always invite to, to put your uh, other professional title or role in through the chat box if you wish. So I'm ending the poll, Kate. Uh, uh, I'm so ending the poll. Yeah. I think that should be it. And I share the results. And we have many professionals here in the round and uh, student, as well as other. And the uh, question is um, other, what it could be. If the other would like to put um, something in the chat box, then please feel free to do so. And if you rather not, that's fine too. So should we go for the next question? Yeah, we can. And uh, the next question is. So here we just a um, bit of an idea of what you're hoping to get out of the workshop webinar. Um, greater awareness generally, helping to manage your mental health overseas, offering to help others. Um, asking for support and learning more. What we're finding is a lot of people come to us and we chat and um, it might not be themselves who they're trying to help, but they have friends, um, they have circumstances where they want to help other people and, and we also want to help you with that too, so. Wonderful. Okay, has everybody voted? Uh, Kate, you give me the call. Again, it's a, it's a very mixed bag and Interestingly, offer to help others is a 70%, which is a winner. As I said, we, um, we are finding that that's why a lot of people are coming forward because they want to help other people. So thank you, that's great. The more people we have helping in this field, the better. So that's fantastic. Great. I close the poll. Close the poll. So without further ado, um, now you have a bit of an understanding of, of me, who I am and who and what Cayman Connection is. Please always feel to, free to reach out if you have any other questions or ideas. We're, we're keen on ideas. And I will pass over to Marina, um, an experienced uh, global mindset coach and global agility trainer who supports leaders to excel in their role in multicultural situations so they can bridge communication gaps, ensuring fewer conflicts, fewer misunderstandings, and have a lot more fun. That's We like that. So Marina works with executives, experts, and expats who want to enhance their international leadership project management and interpersonal connections, uh, connection skills to build profitable relationships with colleagues, customers, and trading partners. So thank you so much for joining us, Marina. Yeah, I'm just uh, pulling up my screen and my, my slide. Let me just do this for a moment here. So, um, oops. While Marina's um, pulling up the slide, I'll just say um, while we're getting ready that there are lots of ways to do uh, webinars and workshops like this. Um, webinars would be very much a, a talking to you and presenting. We've chosen this format so that we can be more interactive and engage and, and you can ask questions over the, uh, over the webinar format itself. Uh, so please feel free to um, interact should you wish. Okay, so can you all see my slide? Okay. I can. Wonderful. That's very good. Okay. 